One movie, however, may well have hastened the exit of 3D in the Golden Age. In September 1953, The Rogue, produced and released by 20th Century Fox, opened in New York and Los Angeles. This first Cinemascope film was advertised as the modern miracle you see without glasses. And indeed, theaters found that it was much simpler and cheaper to show scope than to show 3D. And The Rogue was a big hit. By the mid-1950s, 3D was effectively over. There were attempts at revival, September Storm in 1960, The Mask in 1961, and The Bubble in 1966. But it wasn't until the stewardesses went into wide release in 1971 that 3D really came back into the public consciousness. Reissues of Dial in for Murder and House of Wax in the early 1970s led to new 3D movies such as Flesh for Frankenstein, Jaws 3D, Space Hunter, Coming At You, and many others. Currently, 3D is making a blazing comeback, not only with IMAX 3D, but new digital projection of films such as Disney's Chicken Little. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Richard Carlson. If I look somewhat older and more drawn than I have in my recent pictures, it's because of the harrowing experiences I've been having here in the maze. The maze is the first picture in three dimension that delves into the weird and terrifying world of the supernatural. If you're familiar with the exciting effects that can be achieved with 3D, you can imagine what happens when something from the great beyond reaches right out of the screen to clutch at you. Oh, and one more thing. After you've seen the maze, please don't reveal to your friends the secret of its story or its startling climax. Because you see, we think the maze will amaze you. Fearful 
secret was hidden from the world for 200 years. Why was every door in Craven Castle locked at night? I went to your room and I saw something. Something horrible. It was the most horrible thing I've ever seen. It was your imagination. It was something alive. I saw it move. The terrifying story that startled the world comes to the screen in three dimensions.